Hey guys, Sean Patton here of Sean Patton Presents. And are you a member of an organization that is a little messy, a little inefficient? Maybe you worked on a project, came and then found out that somebody else was working on the same thing and they had a different vision or that there was a project and you thought what you were doing was supporting the people above you, but you found out that maybe it wasn't or the direction was a little off. This is not uncommon. It's actually, it's actually more common than you think it is. And the reason for that is we don't understand nesting and synchronization of efforts within our organizations, okay? We're too siloed, we're too in our own head. And so today we're just gonna do a brief introduction of this week's topic on Sean Patton Presents, which is planning, but not planning a certain project or a certain task, planning the structure of an organization, planning the efforts within an organization, all right? We have to start there. All right. If we don't have the right structure within an organization, if we're not all on the same page in general, regardless of what the task is, then you can keep feeding the best ideas and the best projects and the best people, and you're not going to get the outcome that you want. Okay. So today what I've done in this week is I've taken a military concept called the three levels of warfare. All right. It sounds big. It sounds crazy, but I'm applying it in a business sense. We have a lot to learn. Uh, we can learn a lot from the military and the way we do things in the military, the way uh, they accomplish things, okay? For all their, uh, you know, there are a lot of inefficiencies, a lot of faults. Military is a big organization. You're talking about a million people. You're talking tens of billions of dollars of budget. And yet, if they need to, right, within a short period of time, they can synchronize efforts, get logistics where they need to be, and accomplish amazing tasks in a lot of ways that we can't get done and we don't see get done most of the time in the private sector. So how do we harness this power and harness this concept for your business, for your organization? Well, we really need to divide it down into three categories, okay? If you can read right here, we've got them listed, all right? The top is strategy, all right? The best way I can describe strategy is what is the end goal? What's the purpose of your business? And how does it interact with the outside world? Okay, it's external. A lot of times in the military, the commander, uh, I was a special forces commander for years, and you know my key job was to be the liaison between the internal functions of the team and everything out around it. All the other units, all the outside entities, the State Department, uh, the UN, the other military unit we were operating next to. That was my responsibility, right? To make sure that I understood what our task was, what our mission was, just like what is your company, your organization generally trying to, uh, what problem is it trying to solve out in the world? And that, that's the strategy, okay, of, of the company. What's the purpose? What problem are you trying to solve? All right, and beneath that now, you have operational level or operations. Okay? Now, this is like the department level in your company, all right? So it's still a big thing, it's still a lot of people, Right? It's not a specific task, but it doesn't operate independent of the other internal components of your business. Right? So that would be like marketing, sales, you know, uh, sales uh, research and development. Okay? Each one of those, it's a big thing. It's got a lot of different projects. It's trying to accomplish you know, sort of an abstract concept. But if you just took that organization by itself and put it into the wild, it doesn't accomplish much. It doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't, it doesn't tackle um, all the big questions that the, that the company as a whole is trying to answer, the big company goals, right? But it's critical to be able to take the big strategic mission and then break it down, okay, in the different operational level, uh, you know, tasks that we need to accomplish and making sure that the tasks of one department and the tasks of another department are synchronized with each other and nested up and down with the company's strategic mission, all right? So we've got it one more level down, and that's tactics. That's the day-to-day -day work. That's the hard grinding work. That's the sales calls, right? That's the engineering design. That's the marketing teams getting together and decide what channels are we gonna do? What's our target market segment? How are we gonna get this thing out, all right? That's the day-to-day -day work that gets done, but if all that work is being done and we don't have a good operational plan, so good operational level leadership, 
within that department, ensuring that that day-to-day work is nested underneath all right, the main strategic goal of the whole company that is all doesn't flow down and up that way. It, it's, it's all for naught, right? We're wasting effort and inefficient, inefficiency equals lost profits. It equals frustration from your workforce it equals people being disenfranchised and, and not being excited about what they're doing. Cause man, we've all been there where we've worked hard. We've done something. We realized, ah, that wasn't what hire, you know, that's not what I call hire, right? It's not what the company or my boss, it's not even what they were looking for. They really were trying to go a different direction or they didn't understand where the company was headed. So communication is key to make sure we nest these efforts from strategic at the company level, how you, how you interact, how the company or the organization interacts with the outside world. Operationally, right? We tie the day-to-day actions of our workforce, of our team, of all the hard gritty stuff that's being done Operations has to synchronize that, right? Uh, uh, synchronize across and nest above and below in order to get the outcomes we're looking for, all right? And when it's important to not focus on the tasks being done, it's important to make sure we're synchronizing across and nesting above and below the efforts and the outcomes, right? I'll say it again. It's not about the specific tasks being done. It's about the effects and outcomes of those tasks. Okay. And are the outcomes supporting the necessary outcome and effects at the operational level? And do those synchronize and together, right? With that synergy, we've had two plus two plus two equals seven or eight or nine through, through the synergy of all and the synchronization of all those efforts, right? That's leadership. And that's what you can do, but you have to take a step back as the leader, right? Or if you're an organization, look up, look out, make sure, you know, bring it to your boss, right? Lead from the middle and be like, man, I, I, I'm not sure. I don't understand how this all works together. All right. So if you have any more questions about that, any feedback, please leave some comments. Please let me know what you feel on this video. You can, you can get me on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, we'll post this to the YouTube channel. Um, and also you can, you can get me on my email and let me know. All right. So what I do is I offer four services for individuals and companies, individual coaching, leadership workshop. I can come and talk about mindset. I can come talk about leadership, right? Or I can consult on a specific problem. That's what I'm passionate about. I want to empower you to unleash the greatness that's within inside you and within inside your organization. So hope to see from you guys soon. Uh, again, if you want more information on this, get on the, the website, go to my blog and check out the article, Three Levels of Warfare, Master It, Achieve Victory in Your Business. See you guys.